Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to list all default constraints with columns in SQL Server database. So think about a scenario where you are working as a SQL Server developer and you are working on documentation. Uh, your manager asks you, hey, can you get me all the default constraints uh, and the logic, uh, what values we are providing for each of the default constraints uh, and tell me on which columns uh, and which tables uh, in this uh, database. Uh, so you have to provide that information. Uh, now, th this is a very normal, you will get that information and I want you to understand uh, uh, how to use the system objects, uh, tables and view to gather this information. Uh, you will be going to the Tech Brothers IT uh, dot com and then you will be going to the SQL Server T SQL tutorial tab. Once you are there, I have uh, uh, this is a SQL Server T SQL tutorial chapter by chapter. So you can uh, take a look on other chapters. And here we are in chapter six. So chapter six, uh, and we are talking about constraints. Uh, and uh, then we have a default constraint tab or a subheading. You will be going to the third post uh, how to get the list. Uh, of all default constraints with columns in SQL Server database. So let's copy that query and run it and take a look from there. So copy, go to the SSMS, open a new query, select the database on which you, you are required to run this query or gather the information for default constraints. In my case, I'm going to use Tech Brothers IT, but if you need to run on maybe another database such as your DB name, you will be selecting that. In our case, let's, let's select the Tech Brothers IT. So we are fine and paste the query. We are using a different system views such as a sys.default constraints. We are using a sys.columns and we are using a sys.tables. So these system views will give us information what we need. Here, I'm using this built-in function called db underscore name that will give us always the database name. So let's uh, say if you have uh, open a new, new query and you want to see oh okay on which uh, uh, database uh, I'm connected uh, so you will always say select DB underscore name so this function as whatever the name of column you want to say my, my DB let's say my current DB okay. if you run this one uh, you will get uh, the database name on uh, this query window is connected to so you see that here on the um, bottom right uh, tech brothers uh, if uh, I'm connected with any other one let's say your DB name and I run this one then I will get that so that's the function I'm using it uh, then uh, I have uh, this uh, schema name function and uh, this accept the schema ID and uh, give us a schema name so we have a schema ID and uh, this is coming from sys.tables so let me show you so if I have sys.tables and you see here I have uh, this uh, name object name schema ID and if I am interested uh, to know okay I have these tables but what is the schema for these uh, uh, tables I can see the ID but I can't see the schema name so I can use uh, the schema name function and it accept uh, the schema ID as an input uh, parameter and once I run that one it is going to give me the schema name so you see it has given me the schema name so get familiar with the schema name function and it need uh, the schema ID as a parameter so that's what I'm using I'm using T that's the alias for this table and it is saying take uh, the schema ID from uh, this table and uh, then use this function schema name so convert this schema id to the schema name then i'm saying t dot name take the name column from sys dot tables and then i'm saying c dot name take the name column from sys dot columns so let's take a look on sys dot columns so we have different system views from which we are accepting the data and if you see that the sys.columns uh, give us all the columns and name uh, is the name of the columns uh, so this column gives us uh, all the column names uh, and that's what I need I got the table name then I need uh, the column name then I need uh, a default constraint name that comes from def uh, default constraints uh, system view so if I run this one let's uh, take a look 
and we have default constraint names here so you see that name column does contain that information and uh, we have other columns such as object id parent object id so i need uh, this column from sys dot constraint uh, sorry sys dot default constraints uh, so that's why i'm saying get this one and I'm, i have alias this one as a short name d so i said d dot uh, name so get me this uh, name column from uh, default constraint uh, view okay Th then i'm saying get me d dot definition so if you go here let me show you where is the definition right here so we would know that uh, okay if we have created a default constraint what value we are using for that default constraint so i need that as well as a part of query now i am using the inner join so uh, these columns if you see that we have parent uh, object id that's uh, d coming from uh, sys dot default constraint and i am joining that with the c dot object id so from this view we have a, there is the object id and that's where i join it and then also i'm joining d dot parent id to c dot column id so th these are the different uh, uh, relationship uh, we have between uh, sys dot default constraints sys dot columns and sys dot tables uh, and uh, i know that this uh, this uh, uh, column should be uh, going to this column and uh, that's where we need to join that and all that you will get familiar with the, all that most of the time uh, you know object id parent object id from one object uh, to another object uh, they they are in relation and uh, you can always create uh, the diagram um, and th that will give you some information um, uh, which uh, columns are related with other columns in different tables um, but these three four uh, uh, tables uh, you will system tables or system views uh, you will get familiar very quickly after start using them so I, it is always good idea let's say if you are using uh, sys dot tables and uh, let me see sys dot columns so if i'm using sys dot columns here and uh, i have parent object id so uh, now let me show you how <clears throat> excuse me parent object id so here is object id that's uh, and then we have parent object id where uh, sometimes it's hard to see sorry i'm i'm i'm, I'm sorry we we don't have parent object id here in uh, sys dot columns but we have a uh, parent object id in uh, our uh, cons uh, default constraint so let me show you here so let's say if I have object ID and parent object ID and if I want to see like what is this object I know that this object is a, a constraint and this if I want to say what is parent object ID that means that there's something uh, I can take a look I can always say sorry um, object name and I will say parent object underscore ID so this is another function that you can use it will give you the object name once you will provide the id so you see that this is given as the table so that's right and you if you see here c dot object id so if i'm here and i say c dot object id uh, right here so we have object and if i will do the same thing object name and uh, object ID from columns let me see and there, there are a lot of objects uh, and uh, you can see we have uh, table these, these are the tables uh, we were looking for so this will uh, give us uh, the table names view name and all those kind of things and you see that from here i said i said that okay d dot parent to object id and you you can understand from here that's the exact name if i will get the object id uh, object name by using the object id from the column sys dot columns so they are matching so that's where I, I take a look on that and say okay this column what is that what does that mean this is returning mean the table name or column name and all that and uh, then I said okay this is uh, uh, also returning me 
table name, the parent one, this is a returning me in the table name. And that's it. I said, okay, fine. I'm, I can join on this. And wherever the table, table names match, that's where I need to get those columns. So I, you can further take a look on these and understand which object ID is what and what is parent object ID. And once you have that information, you can start joining. So inner join will give you all the matching records from these views. So once you run this query, you will get the required result. So we need the database name, we got the schema name, we got the table name, we got the column name, and we got the default constraint name, and then we got the definition. So at this point, even you don't understand the whole lot between uh, relationship uh, with these uh, tables like which column is connected with what uh, but you you can understand at least uh, on which columns I am joining so you can further uh, use the object ID and the uh, ob sorry object name function get it uh, and see like oh okay this is the table name and also the other part other side is also a table name so uh, we can join on matching uh, table names and uh, that's what we are doing here and uh, once uh, you have that information, you can dump that information into the Excel and give to your manager or save it to the uh, SharePoint or some shared folder and say this is a default uh, constraints we are using for this database. Uh, and uh, this is the definition, these are the columns and these are, uh, sorry, this is the columns and these are the names and uh, on these tables uh, we have created them. Thanks very much uh, for watching this video and uh, I hope you learned something out of it. I will see you guys in next video.